All sorrows are lessened with swine. Yeah, there you go. I'm Nicholas Stefanelli, executive chef of Bibiana. This is Bev Eggleston. President, owner of Eco-Friendly Foods. From our standpoint, Eco-Friendly Food was envisioned to solve a problem. We're not just pork people, although pork is what we do really well and we really love it. It's really about the farmer, how he does what he does. So we developed and built and had the gumption and the naivete and the commitment level to build a one-of-a-kind, state-of-the-art, completely clean, multi-species, farmer-owned, USDA-inspected, certified humane slaughter facility that we call a slafter house. Nick said, Kobe beef tastes like fat. I, I think, Chef, this beef over here is worth trying. Bev's a great guy, got a great mission. His beef tastes like beef, not like fat. I think that's the way the story went. Next thing you know, we're off to the races. I was, I was brought up. I learned how to cook like this. It's not a marketing tool. It's not a trend that I'm trying to follow. This is how we cook, and this is what we do. And there's a lot of work in it, but you know, it's it's satisfying. There's so much pleasure in eating that I, I couldn't I couldn't fathom doing it another way. I ate more in Nick's restaurants than anywhere else I've ever eaten. Period because he's been there early on, he's never compromised. For a fine dining experience, who eats at the same place five or six times in a year? Somebody who really loves the food, and really loves the environment, really loves the staff. That's passion. You have salami, you have pancetta, you have copa, you have uh, nduya, you have, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We do some stuff that are staples, but then some things we kind of tangent in and out. We might work on something new, so we're always doing something different, something fresh. Some of it gets, put into a study where we offer five or six different cuts. So there's a lot of different moving pieces that go into it. I think it's a good testament to a lot of the restaurants out there when you see diversity um, on their menus, different cuts, different cooking techniques. It really shows, showcases a lot of the talent that's what's going on in the kitchen. And how many times people say, why is this so expensive? Well, they should be saying, why is the other stuff so cheap? I can tell you why it's so expensive because we're carrying infrastructure. You know, we're, we're working for a food, parallel food model for tomorrow. It makes it hard on, on the people that are producing this product and that's why we support local because it's, we're, you know, supporting the people who are producing in our area that are providing jobs for people and that are bringing product to our restaurant that help our local economy.